Once upon a time, around the outer reaches of the near south side, lived a no-good street rebel who drank, smoked, and lied. <laughs> His name was Jake. He was indeed mean and cruel. He lived life for the moment and followed no rule. He didn't have many friends. In fact, he had only one. A stoner named Scotty, who believed only drugs and video games were fun. One day, Jake wandered into the liquor store for some beer to be bought. Lo and behold, it was the eye of an endearing young lady he had caught. She approached him and said, Hey there. I'm Carrie. What's your name? Insensitive as he was, he turned away with no desire to play her game. Carrie fell instantly in love, violently attracted to his rebellion and rage. She Googled him, but nothing came up, not even a Facebook page. Obsession overcame her, and it was Jake she did chase. Not until she bought him a tall pack of old style did he put his rejection to waste. <laughs> Carrie was a deadbeat, but nonetheless she was a hottie. She started spending so much time with Jake that she even befriended Scotty. To them, everything seemed perfect, and everything seemed right. But all of that changed on one fateful night. Scotty uttered, I know! Let's go on an all-night drunken drug binge! Jake replied, Let's fucking do it! Carrie, go fetch my syringe! And so Jake and Scotty shot heroin, snorted coke, and downed two bottles of vodka with pride. They got kicked out of an astounding seven separate bombs on the south side. <laughs> Clinging for consciousness, Jake stumbled on home. With no sign of Scotty, his mind faded to black, and he found himself all alone. He passed out in a darkened alley, probably sometime around three. When he finally came to, he opened his eyes to a cloud shaped like a bonsai tree. He remembered nothing that was done and nothing that was spoken. But as he stared at the cloud, he felt he had suddenly awoken. So Jake stood up and proclaimed to no longer live life with no ambition. But to do the exact opposite, he vowed to make it his mission. As soon as he arrived home, he cleaned himself up. He trimmed his fingers and toes. He then threw away all his cigarettes and bought himself new clothes. He started treating people nice and was no longer a jerk. Putting the drugs and alcohol aside, he even found proper work. He exercised every day and could run a mile at a seven-minute pace. Since he was now a vegan, he no longer visited Scotty's favorite hot dog place. He rented out a two-story townhouse. After he paid off all his debt, that took 10 minutes to carry's on rollerblades. It was as close to her as he could get. New dreams were dreamt, like having a beautiful wife to marry. Though they'd already been together a while, he became insanely infatuated with Carrie. Both Scotty and Carrie despised what Jake had become, and they wished it untrue, but they remained the same, as Jake wanted to move on too. <laughs>